Hello and welcome to another video here at Frontline Model Lobbies and it's part 7. Yay! Now as you can see this is where we left off and it looks very nice so we need to button it up and there's no reason why we can't finish this off in this pot. Oh yeah, this is the reason why. So in my infinite wisdom I decided to do the bracing on the wings as you can see there on this drawing it finishes there on the cowling and we've got the same on the other side on the trailing edge on both sides as you can see there and we've got the fuselage bit that literally intersects as you can see just about when i eventually finally do it come on rob you knob there and just come on figure it out just there so that's what we're going to do great must admit, it is hard to climb out of the rabbit hole of scratch building, but we're here now, so we might as well crack on. So anyway, with that, as you can see, I've glued the two strips on there, front and back. I left a notch there just for that panel, as you can see there, and I've just got to trim the end. Ooh. So with that, I'm going to show you how I put one of these strips on here. And I'm not going to try and teach you how to suck eggs, but yeah, anyway. So I just want to line it up, just trying to get a gist of where I need to be. And it's somewhere about there, I think. I'm quite happy with that. And then I want to use some vernier calipers and measure. Um, you can take a measurement from there, but generally speaking, it's not going to be the same on the other side. You can take other measurements further down the wing, uh, and I would definitely take one at the end, which I'm doing here. And the scores on the doors are three millimetre. And then I'm going to take another measurement here. And the other scores on the doors is 6.5. Therefore, in this scenario, what I want to be doing is test fitting. Just making sure that it's square and it's the same on the other side. Because the worst thing you can do is just get it in the wrong place. Anyway, moving on. The other thing you can do is what I'm doing here is using a ruler. Just a 30 centimeter one. It fits quite nicely. Ooh, uh. And then just making sure that it's a straight edge. And then when you've done that, I'm just making sure with the vernier calipers again, is I'm measuring both ends. Ooh, er, again. Um, innuendo time, sorry about this. And then I'm just using a ruler as well, just to make sure that everything is square. Because when you commit to glue, it's on. You're never going to get this bloody thing back off. And when it comes time to actually gluing your strip down, I cannot emphasize this strongly enough use the glue sparingly the reason being is because this strip is only 0.13 millimeters thick and you will warp it and distort it in this that, and the other now i'm also using the glue on both sides just literally tacking it down and just leaving it like so but some of you may be thinking oh you've left that a bit too long Ooh, you're a big knob Ooh. Yeah, the reason why I've done that is so that I don't have to measure it. I can just trim at the end and use the panel line, as you can see there, and then just get rid of it. It's just a lot easier. So, yeah, reasons. So, moving on, I've actually put the strengthening strips onto the wings themselves, and the trailing edge ones, you might see that I've done them slightly longer. And this is so that I can actually put the fuselage down onto the wing itself and use the actual fuselage as a template rather than having the fuselage on glued to the wing and then having to put the strips to it it's just easier that way also the actual fuselage strip going all the way around you might see that there's a panel at the top i've had to put some super glue on there because the actual strip sits on top of that panel line it needs to move i reckon about a millimeter further forward so that it doesn't intersect that so now that i've moved on i've actually sanded that uh, panel down so that it's not going to be interfering i just filled it with super glue like i said and now i'm just test fitting and just making sure that this bar is going to sit where it's where it needs to so i'm looking at reference material i'm also looking at the book and i'm also looking at whether it's actually going to fit so now we need to follow the same theory as we did with the wing because the fuselage is going to be separate to the wing and we need to put the bar on there so we've got no reference material 
To add this, I'm just putting Nick with a scalpel blade and just adding some graphite in there so that it's just visible. That's all I'm doing. And I'll do the same on the other side, which you'll see now. And like I said, just makes it more visible and then I can trim later and make a fresher, cleaner area. And then, with typical Airfix fashion, especially this 124th Mosquito, we get to the, oh, bugger moment where you can see we've got a gap either side. Now, plastic card, 025 mil as you're gonna see there, just fills the gap, ooh, uh. Anyway, so yeah, that'll do that. Did, oh, I do apologize, sir. That sounded like a smutty innuendo, didn't it? <laughs> like a bit of smut, sir. Oh, suit you, suit you, sir. Oh, suit you, suit you, suit you, oh, suit you. Oh, suit you. Oh, suit you. Oh, will you just build me a fucking suit? So with that area filled, it's time to now see if everything all fits in there. So we've got the rear transmitter in there just to see if the actual canopy fits. And where I actually fitted everything, um, yeah, it, it doesn't quite go in. Have I, have I messed up? I, I have, not I? Oh, cue the music. Oh dear, oh dear, it's confession time. Now, during the build, I must admit, I've been putting this one off. Reason being is because I lost the gun sight. Yes, stop laughing at the back. So what I did was I did this quick diagram from stock pictures, uh, reference material, just general stuff that I could find. And it kind of looks like a gun sight, but anyway, so yeah, the body is made of resin casting block and the rest is from plastic sheet. And then finally, what I did was put the wiring in from the gun sight and a couple of other bits uh, all the way down the back of there, down to the holes that I previously drilled at the back of the cockpit. And also I put a couple of wires in there. Next thing to do is put the radio in and just glue it down onto its shelf. <laughs> Now moving on to the canopy and the frame itself. So I glued this side excess door in with some epoxy and also the frame itself. As you can see, that's never gonna come out in a million years. And also what I did was I drilled the hole out for the flare gun, as you can see, because everybody likes a nice drilled hole. But I must admit many poos shot out of my A and I because drilling into a canopy, mm, not good. But anyway, that's all done. And also, there's no detail. Mm. And I made the frames for the flare cartridges underneath the navigator seat out of a piece of rectangled um, cut plastic card, drilled some holes, and then cut it down the middle to make two holes. So now it's a part of the build, especially for the cockpit anyway, the wiring. This is something that I've been really putting off so I've got to do the port and the starboard side wiring, as you can see there, and put it all to the radio and the transmitter and everything else, so everything's going to be wired in. So anyway, I'm going to shut up, see you in a bit.
Right, so with that bit done, and 99.99999% of all the wiring in there, I still think it looks a bit sparse, especially on that partial shelf area where the transmitter sits. So what I decided to do was put some more wiring in there, which you're later going to see. But all I'm going to do is put this wire, which off the top of my head, I can't remember where it goes. Yeah, I know. And this yellow wire goes to the Morse key, which is just about there. Mm. Next up is to tone down the dry brushing that I put on the seats. And I must admit, somebody mentioned that on a previous part for the cockpit. Can't remember your name. I do apologise. But this is an ink and it's supposed to be brown. But it, it, it was red when I put it on. And it was sort of an happy accident. It gives it a nice vibrance and... It just literally, it was an accident. But anyway, so I'm just going to leave you with this. So cue the music. So next, like I just did with part three for the instrument panel, I'm putting AK Interactive dust deposits on the radio and transmitter just to blend it all in, as you can see there. And also, also as you can see at the back, I've put the wiring in there. Next up, I just need to put a wash on the seat belts. I need to put a bit more on there and also on the rear deck, as you can see, using shadow brown here. But anyway, so I'm going to sign off, see you in a bit. So moving on to the flare gun, I painted that NATO black and I'm just using some graphite from the pencil as some weathering. So, moving on, as I mentioned earlier, the lack of detail inside the canopy frame. And I made this part out of some scrap piece of resin casting block and some other parts of plastic and the wire as well will fit nicely under the radio frame. So very nice. And the last thing to go on is the flare pistol. Yay! But, hold on, Rob the Knob. I added some more detail. Yeah, here we go again. Now, I put in this DF loop in here, which is just from another manufacturer's kit, just from a spares box, and the base plate I just punched out of some flat sheet of plastic card, and then just sanded the chamfer on there. Also, I added all the wiring, and the tie-downs for the wiring is just from some tin foil. You've seen me do that um, with other wiring that I've put in the cockpit from previous videos of this series and also the wiring from here should be um, going under the radio also the access hatch uh, the emergency hatch here frame is painted black maybe just to note 
denote, sorry, that this is a hatch. So the next stupid thing I thought of, which is the normal thing for me, is to put some switches above the fuse box on the starboard side of the cockpit. And in this case, I'm using five amp fuse wire, this top thinner one, just, um, yeah, I just think it's just about the right size. Anyway, I'm gonna leave you with me dicking around trying to do this. So cheerio, see you in a bit. One final thing that I thought would be a really good idea is that I were watching a video of a lot of crews using maps, so I'm thinking, well, where would they put them? Hmm. Anyway, I'm just going to leave you with this last bit. Cheerio. See you in a bit. And there we have it that is the final part for the cockpit of this series and i just want to say like a knob i didn't take a video of me putting the frame on yeah stupid but anyway i just want to say thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you on the next one Cheers.